It is money from the United States that ends up here, in Mexico. Billions of dollars from Mexicans living in the U.S. sent home. These payments are known as remittances, and lately they are dropping. It's a drop analysts blame on a slowing U.S. economy and stepped-up immigration enforcement, like record deportations and increased border security. Many small towns live off these stipends. This economist says the poorest parts of the country depend on this money the most, so people with small incomes will suffer the most. Mexicans living in the U.S. sent home 12 percent less money in August, the largest drop on record since the Bank of Mexico started tracking remittances 12 years ago. $1.9 billion now compared to more than $2.2 billion just a year ago. Demetrio Lopez Ortega of Oaxaca says people here are waiting for the green bill. But his brother tells him there is no more work in the United States. It's just not the same anymore, he says. The Mexican government says the country will be hit hard by the economic crisis. Tourism is dropping, along with commodity prices like oil. It is lowering growth forecasts by 2.5%. Remittances make up Mexico's second largest source of foreign income, behind oil exports. Pablo Rojas says there is suffering here because the United States is in crisis. All the banks are in crisis. Hard economic times spilling over to south of the border. Lee Powell, The Associated Press.